Welcome back to here with Goldberg. Today I'm going to be addressing some mail that I received. I would like to be doing more videos weekly, but I'm also trying to not get sucked back into the vortex of holy matrimony with Google and content creation, where it becomes almost a divine mandate that you must do this. It's a duty. And we're seeing so many folks who, as they're getting demonetized, the algorithm is going against them. They're just having mental breakdowns. They're not able to make money. Uh, I'll chase that high elsewhere, just my personal opinion. In any case, we have this particular message, and it goes as follows. Mr. Goldberg, I'm a field representative of the 76th Spoon Clanking Regiment. I must quite proudly announce that I have completely annihilated your black pill philosophy and its teaching on looks by using the vaunted and shining example of my very own Lord Commander, Six Hexenhammer 666. He proves in his ability to secure a viable mate, despite how terrible things are, that a man's appearance really is unimportant. How does it feel, Mr. Goldberg, that I have destroyed your sorrow and wickedness in one felling blow? <laughs> Well, my little soybean, as it turns out, Styx actually amplifies and magnifies uh, the truths of the black pill. And you might not realize, you have to kind of parse a bit more, and you'll start to understand. Uh, so for those who don't know, Styx Hexenhammer, he's been on YouTube for over a decade. I believe he started as a progressive, then he became a libertarian. Now he calls himself a classical liberal, which, as we know, is just an edgy right-winger in disguise. Uh, I will be recasting the video on classical liberalism because so many people who adopt it don't seem to know the history or what it actually entails. But in any case, for a period he was a Satanist, and then he came back to religion. So now, of course, he worships Donald Trump. In any case, um, they say, well, you look at him... Oh, no, I don't know if that's him. I don't know where that came from, actually. Oops. This is supposedly an older picture. Uh, this is prior to more of his fame. I'm not aware if this is the same chick that he was singing the sad love songs about when they broke up like a year or a year and a half ago. It could be someone else. They say, if you can go from that over to this, that was the wedding announcement video. She's kind of chill. He's beaming. He's really happy, which is good for him, to be clear. And this is another picture. So they say, if he can get a chick like this, then looks don't matter. I understand the argument. Unfortunately, it's not very compelling. He's not the worst looking dude. I, there was some guy on his Patreon uh, announcement video that said he looked like a snail. That's a little bit harsh. But it is important to note, he claims to be 6'2". And if you look at this picture, he might be, I could see that, or at least six feet. It's hard to tell because of how the photo has been taken. So height does matter. Height's not everything, but height is a big factor. Um, the other two elements, if you don't have looks right, we talk about money and status. And sometimes money and status can outweigh looks. Doesn't mean that looks don't matter even to the woman in question. It's just that those can be uh, considerable factors. So... As far as money is concerned, I think he makes like 50 or 60K on Patreon and other sites a year, which is an okay income. And then he also claimed to have sold like 20,000 copies three years ago of the books in one year, and it's going up from then. So if you're consistently doing that and you're making at least a buck off each book, you know, that's a pretty good income altogether. I wouldn't be surprised if he gets pretty close or he is at six figures. Now, to be fair, the guy works a lot. So this is where we talked about, like, the video I did on six-figure salaries. People don't realize you may be working a lot more than 40 hours a week. I mean, he's always talking about being on caffeine and Red Bull, three or four videos a day, Twitter updates, um, uploading to different websites, doing the editing, responding to requests and whatnot. So it's very involving. People don't realize that. They say, oh, I'm going to be a YouTube content creator. It's a, it's a full-time job, if not more, if you really want to be successful and you know, make your way on the internet.com. So 
with that in mind, I don't know if the money part is the big deciding factor. The chick that he's with, uh, she, maybe she has a profession, maybe she doesn't. But I don't think that's really what's driving. In this case, it's status. Okay, let's be real. He is an e-celebrity. Around 15 or 16, when he sort of abandoned libertarianism to support Trump, that's when he got a lot of supporters. And when you have that presence, it matters a great deal. I mean, take it for me. I only had like 30K subscribers at the time. There was some Blasian chick with a big YouTube channel. Uh, I think she's from Canada, but she lived in the U.S., and I don't remember the name. Started trying to flirt with me, sending me messages. I had another one that wanted to be in a relationship who had her own channel. A couple in the comments. Um, one chick, and this was a real black pill, she just had like a Twitter account or whatnot. She would comment on my videos, but she had pictures with her boyfriend on the account. They were still in a relationship, right? And he was a good looking guy in all honesty, but she said, oh, I feel guilty, but I just, you're so cute or whatever. So you see how even a little bit of celebrity and status can potentially outweigh another man, even if he might be not bad looking. Okay. That doesn't mean women don't value looks. It just means that some of them want that, oh, I'm associated with a celebrity or I'm married to, or I've slept with a celebrity. Okay. Another point I have to make here is that, you know, I was on MD stream and I called out the rule zero guys because I think it was blooper who claimed, well, look at Sean Stevenson, you know, that proves that, you know, the black pill isn't real because he was able to get married to a decently attractive woman. And the key word there is married. These are guys who try to claim that game and red pill, all that BS works. But if a guy who's short or less attractive gets an attractive wife, well, he's signing a contract for the booty, as I said before. He's committing to financially, socially, emotionally support her for decades. So you can't try to claim that that disproves the black pill. If that same dude just tries to go around parling his way into, I just want to date this chick or just pick up this chick, it's not going to happen, right? So yes, status and celebrity can overwhelm looks, but especially when someone is signing a marriage contract, which in the case of our friend here with his wife, hopefully they work out well, you are signing a contract. You are saying, I am willing to give you financial support, all this backing and potentially lose a lot of it in order to be with you. That's not game. That's not red pill. And that's the reason why in those cases, looks might not matter so much or height might not matter so much. So I uh, just thought I would address that. If you have any other topics you want to see and just drop them below.